In this video, we want to go ahead and figure out um, how do you find the average velocity for a function, okay? You can see that this function is slightly different than the one that's in our notes because I figured I'd give you a second example, okay? So there is our function, negative 16t squared plus 128t. It is um, a parabola and it is giving the position for any time given in seconds and the position is given in feet. Okay, so this happens to be the same parabola I graphed earlier in Desmos. Woohoo! Okay, so um, what I'm interested in doing is figuring out what the velocity is at any given point. So we're going to look at t is 2 seconds. And we changed the screen earlier, so each of these um, vertical uh, lines is actually a 1. So this is x is 1, this is x is 2. So what I'm trying to do is figure out the instantaneous velocity right there at t is 2. Okay. And there is t is 3, t is 4 is hitting the vertex, and then it keeps going down. Okay. So let's say I was asked to figure out the instantaneous velocity, or I should say the average velocity, excuse me, over the time interval from 2 to 2 and a half seconds. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to know what's the distance traveled at two and a half, like what's the height, what's the height at two, and then find the difference. So what I'm really doing is I want to know, take 2.5, plug it into my position function, plug in two, plug it into my position function, and I'm going to have 2.5 minus two in the bottom. All right, so number crunching time. So just to remind you of what of s of 2.5 is, so this is just some basic arithmetic skills here. I want negative 16 times 2.5 squared plus 128 times 2.5. So I'm going to put that in my calculator. And I get 220. So this would be 220 feet. So at the time of 2.5, I have a height of 220 feet. Okay, let's do it again for the number two. All right, so for the number two, I'm gonna plug in negative 16, two squared plus 128 times two. And I get 192. Okay, beautiful. All right, so what I'm going to do with these two numbers is that I'm going to have the first number of 220. I'm going to subtract 192. And then my denominator is that 2.5 minus 2, which is a 0.5. All right, so let's take our calculator. Take 220 minus 192. And then divide it by 0.5. And I get 56. Feet per second. Woohoo! Okay, so we just found the average velocity from the time frame of two to two and a half seconds. Okay, now what does that actually represent? What it actually represents is over here, if I went to two, and to two and a half and drew a line, okay, from two to two and a half, what I would get is the slope would be 56, okay? And notice that that line from two to two and a half, oops, sorry, my computer just fell asleep. That line from two to two and a half mimics the curve pretty well. So what I'm saying is, is that here's our curve, over here is two, over here is two and a half. When I draw that line segment, it's gonna be pretty similar to the curve. Okay, all right, excellent. Um, what we're gonna do in the next video is show what happens when I take a smaller window of time.